300 billion euros, the amount earmarked by Brussels on Wednesday to boost links with the developing world in response to the growing influence of China. On the face of it, the European Commission's so-called global gateway aims to invest billions in poorer countries by 2027 to help them with infrastructure projects they can't afford on their own. But at the heart of it is a strategy designed to rival Beijing's own Belt and Road Initiative and also to offer an alternative. They know we are transparent. They know it is accompanied by good governance. They know there will be no unsustainable debt levels as a leftover. Also, that the local communities really benefit from the added value of infrastructure investment. And um, we bring on top the private, uh, uh, the private sector with us, a private sector that in such a way does not exist in China. So it is a true alternative. Brussels wants the main areas of investment to be in digital projects, transport, health, climate and energy, and finally, in education and research. But China's Belt and Road Initiative, a huge collection of global infrastructure projects, has already been up and running since 2013. Despite Brussels' late entry into the game, one of the EU's leading lawmakers on Chinese affairs says it's already having an impact on Beijing. I would say that even the discussion around Global Gateway has already had an effect on China. If people listen carefully to what's being said from Beijing, all of a sudden Xi Jinping talks about quality projects. That's new. All of a sudden he talks about sustainability. That's new. The fact that China is now owning up to these criteria is already a positive effect that we're having. And in that regard, I welcome any competition. The Commission didn't give specific examples of what projects will be invested in, but it said things like extensive transport links and underwater data cables connecting continents will likely be possible. Christopher Pitchers, Euronews, Brussels.